need four things to make a kilometer. First you need a tractor, straw, string, and a lightweight object. Next, you'll need to tape the straw to the side of the tractor. Next step, you'll need to tie the string around your lightweight object. Last, you'll need to tie the string around the tractor. the kilometer that we made to measure the height from, of the rim from the ground. And we are going to record a couple of measurements which are uh, the angle that the kilometer makes when I look through the straw. We're going to write down the length or the height, my height, which is 6 foot. Look from the straw. Let me just get a little back. Okay. I'm going to look from the straw to the top of the rim. How much is that? Right. Right there, 51.5, right there. And then I have, now, right I know where I was. Right there, 51.5, right there. Now, I'm going to look at the Okay. Now, what we have to do is measure the distance where I'm standing to the base of the uh, rim. This is the tape measure right here. Okay, let's use, use this. We're going to measure in feet. That's the measurement. Turn it over, turn it over. Okay. So, guys, that's 60 inches, which is 5 feet. Uh -huh. And let's just write that down. Paper. Okay, now we've got all the measurements we're going to use to we'll manipulate these measurements in a way to find the height of the rim from the ground. Okay, guys, now we have all our three important measurements uh, calculated and now we can actually find the height of the rim from the ground. First of all, we need the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation is not going to be the uh, kilometers angle, it's actually going to be this angle right here. And to find this angle, what you have to do is, because if this is a supplementary, these three are supplementary to each other because of a straight line, you have to add the 90 with the 51.5 and subtract them from 180. And you get 38.5. Checking my math. So our actually, our angle of elevation is 38.5. Now, you have to find this. This is opposite to your angle, and you have an adjacent. So you would use tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. Multiply that out, which I will show you, is 38.5 tangent, multiply by 5, you get 3.97. And what that 
that's only this. That's not the total height because the base was right here. To find the base, you would have to, because my feet are actually on the ground, you would add 6 to it. So 6 plus 3.97. I know that's right, it's because it was a basketball rim and I had it up to 10 feet. So I would say that it's pretty much 10 feet and that just proves that a kilometer or a kilometer is 